Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. That's the, that's the right one? Yes, that's right. Let's see, we interrogated, we cross-examined, uh, after cross-examining the ventriloquist, we cross-examined Mo and found out that flying happened. Uh, Nick? What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at faking out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yeah. Magic tricks are, are, by their very definition, tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. I'm just not good at it. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but, the trick Pearly showed me was incredible! Pearls did a magic trick? Hmm, what kind of trick was it? Let's see. It looks like she pulled the end of her own thumb off! <laughs> First, she put her right thumb next to her left hand, and then it just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? Was it kind of like... What? Wow! How'd you do that? Thank you, like a real magician. See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like... Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You'll take all the fun out of the magic if you keep trying to figure it out. And don't... Don't think of our client magic. Alright, so... I don't see any way out of this. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's no way we can solve the mystery of a criminal flying by tomorrow. I was thinking, do you really think the criminal flew through the air? The only one who thinks that is Mo, right? He says he saw it. That's true. Mo looked awfully serious when he said that. Do you think he might be trying to frame Max? that was it, he would have simply said, I saw Max. That would have been enough. There's no reason for it, why anyone would believe he flew. But what if the criminal really did fly? There's only one person who could do that. Max. You're really not helping my confidence here, Maya. Uh, any ideas? Everyone seems to hate Max. Ben, Trillo, Mo. They all have nothing nice to say. That magician does seem rather full of himself, doesn't he? Especially when he says things like customers only go to the circus to see him. He even, he even hit Ben over the head with a bottle. But... But what? But that doesn't seem enough to frame another person for murder. And it was proven that neither Ben nor Mo lied at, on the stand. Maybe Ben saw the ringmaster wearing Max's costume. But Mo clearly said he saw Max himself make any sense. Uh, let's try the testing center. Let's see who's here. <clears throat> oh, my sweeties. You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Let's just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from the local TV station came by. They said that since I'm a famed magician, let's make my your very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? <laughs> Maximilian Galactica, the Great Prison Escape. It would be aired live. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But, but if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking, but the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. <laughs> I'd have no choice. I'm, I would be under a contractual obligation. That's so show business. Well, at least he seems to be more calm than before. Uh, the night of the crime. You didn't see happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Is that, here's how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting at the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not just something I can do at will. I don't care what the stoogie clown says, it wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching him the trick behind flying? Uh, 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 you'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap limitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much. It's much harder than you think. Okay, I don't want to be flying lawyer. Although it does, it does have a nice ring to it. I was thinking about this in the court today. I've got a favor to ask you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous! A great joke! Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like that? But... 
<laughs> I won the world stage! I won the International Grand Prix! International Grand Prix? Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But if performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition, that is something that I cannot simply tolerate. Ambition, huh? Something about what Max just said rings true in my ears. Yeah... A little bit, but that's still not nice. Anyway... Oh my, our sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? Well... To be honest though, I've told this story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring. I'm sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. I'm really sick of telling this story. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. <laughs> Voila! Here, take a look at this! I just happened to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. I, where did you- Just look at the fabulous stage! Look at the first stage I ever flew on! I flew right over the audience! The choir erupted in applause! At that time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt the night. The emotions! The acclaim! Wow! <clears throat> but by the way... <laughs> I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy, too. Hey, Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. <laughs> Watch and learn. That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail? Alright, thanks. How'd you get- how'd you have this picture on you? Well... I don't think I have anything else to show him. Uh... I could show him... Do you know anything about this? What about this? Fabulous! I'd- you'd like me to sign this for you? I think I'm done here. Alright. Time to go check out the circus. Alright, let's see who ate this first. You hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. Alright, let's do this. Are you ready? Y y yes. Uh, 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 but wait. Oh, quit your whining! Let's just give it a shot already. Alright, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream! Come on, you know that! I'm trying my best, but Trillo, this just isn't going to work! Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're just gonna have to be on your own someday! If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you gonna do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trillo. What are you doing here? Gazing around the secret crash course training. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Secret crash training. Whoa. Yes, Trillos wouldn't give up until I said I'd try out his idea for a new routine. So, we're trying to sing, sing, sing it around for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? That's incredible! See, see? Even they're surprised by the idea, I told you! They're not the only ones. You even surprised me with your idea. Once we got a grip on the basics, it's just a matter of practice. Y you think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, there it is! I know that I've got this ring back. It's time to take one more shot at Regina. Uh, did I hand it back to them? Yeah, I did. All right. So I guess they don't hate us that much. Let's talk about it a bit. Uh, I know you already testified in court today. You want to talk about what we saw, right? Yes. Well, at first we thought it was the old man, but just looking at the wall can react it, right, Ben? Huh? Oh, y yeah, that's right. But then we saw hello, and he didn't even give a reply. Not to mention he, dra he was draped in those gaudy symbols. What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Uh, what would you think, Ben? Well, what? Oh, uh, 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 I would have thought it was the Beastmaster. Hmm. Something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. Uh, about the marriage. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. That's why I'm now. That's why I'm waiting for her even now. Really? That's so sweet! But if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you check out the tent? <laughs> you can have a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Eh? Waiting like this is part of being in love! 
How so? If you, had, if you had a clue, you would know. You would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. If your body aches and the pollen's off. That's one of the best parts. Uh, y y yeah, I I knew that. Poor Maya. She's so red. She looks like a fine ripe tomato. Let's go to something a little less awkward and about this ventriloquism. So how does this new routine working out? Well, you two just take a joke already. Routines are secret. We're going to take the ventriloquism world by storm. It'll be a real revolution. That sounds incredible. But let me make one thing clear. We're not going to take the world just because that jerk said we should. That jerk? Max Galactica. Form should aim for the world. Who does he think he is? Trillo, you seem really to be really fired up about all this. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. You're right. You're right. Mark my words. I, Trillo Quist, will win the Grand Prix. <laughs> You're the man now, doll. <laughs> row, row, row your boat. We'll keep me the, to the glorious victory. Um, not to rain on your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? Hey, we gotta start somewhere, right? Don't mess this up. You gotta be part of this too. Uh, here I'm only gonna do this because actually I have to ask about money. Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, 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 uh
should probably talk to Mo next. I'm sure he's willing to forgive us. Alright, they abandoned Trillo. Uh, but, but here. This is what I'm looking for. Oh, it's you two. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? <laughs> I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Miss Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Being bossed around by a woman. I know how you feel. Let me tell you something, pal. Listen to that old clown who sucks out all of your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing something. Uh, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts when you fake laugh that much? Francisca really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal. You're not gonna give me, give me the back part of that one with a whip. No way. Well, why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up. Poof, there she is. Don't show up. 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 Looks like she's wound him pretty tight. She's wound him pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? According to the clown, the criminal jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened. It means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room? Behind the window up there. The acrobats got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Ms. Von Karma's gonna start an investigation up there. So don't get any ideas of going up to the acrobat's room. Got it, pal? <laughs> Von Karma. When she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Until then, I think I'm gonna go talk to Mo. He could use some cheering up, I believe. Mo's not here. If he was here, you would have been able to tell even before you stepped in the room. I'm sure you would have heard him laughing away. <laughs> what do you think he's laughing at when he's all by himself? I always thought he was just thinking up some new jokes. Mm. He must really love his work. Uh, let's uh, visit... Nope, not going there. Well, if Mo isn't here, then he must be somewhere else. Hi, guys. Uh, oh, wait. Do you know where Mo is? Maybe if I show him Mo. Uh, do you know about them? you know where he is? Mind looking at this about me a bit? Uh, nope, nope, never mind. Okay, never mind. Ringmaster! Oh, you're really not up to talking about this. Okay, uh... Alright, then. Let's go to the big top. Uh, he'd probably be hanging out in the cafeteria. Cafeteria is pretty funny. <laughs> right! Welcome to wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria! Yikes! It's like an off. He's in an awfully good mood. Alright, you know what the time it is? Riddle time! Why, why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um. Come on, you can answer this, it's easy! Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction? <laughs> Wrong! Try again! Okay, <laughs> what do you think, girly? Uh, ah, I got it! <laughs> okay, what is your answer? Because they're in the cafe cafe teary eye! <laughs> exactly! It's an incredibly sad place, that cafe! <laughs> Too nice. Alright, what's up? Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me? I didn't think it was going to be so tough. Tough? Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd last night, I had to smash watermelons. I told them all the great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. Even used the fame no shoes, no shirt, no service joke. Exactly!
Exactly! How could you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? Mm, that's true. Because it wasn't funny. So, anyway. Are you 100% sure about the testimony today? I saw what I saw, I swear! The creep just... flew through the air? It wasn't exactly flying per se, it was more like floating. The silhouette of his face was made it positive it was Max. I don't see a psyche lock. You must be telling the truth. Hmm. So anyway, uh, Max told me to show you this. Ah, not this picture. We showed it to you guys too. Huh? You've seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica. <laughs> he really gets around. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he didn't just show me this picture. What do you mean? <laughs> he showed me his bus too. Let me tell you, that thing is enormous. <laughs> it's in the picture, I think. He made me worse. Makes me worse of it every day. He makes us bow to his greatness. He's got a big bust. I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. Let's hear about, you know, look, let, so about Max's bus, this is important, I assure you. Max's bus should be on that small table over there. There's nothing over there, though. Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm, when was it? I'd say about five days ago, all of a sudden, the bus disappeared. It disappeared? If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. I actually just had to put a picture up. Oh wow, that's actually pretty interesting. Hmm. Hey, this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone. I want someone to make a bust of me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Aww. All right. So here's Max's green bust. All right. Is there anything else that's changed about this place? No, nothing's changed that I can see. I wonder if he's actually thinking about this, or if he's setting up a bad joke. Nope, nope, I'm drawing a blank here. Quiet mo is a good mo in my book. I guess there really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Well, there's this one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us! Tell us! What changed? Well, on the morning of the crime, over on the bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted front and center. Piece of paper? It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see its title. Yikes! It says, to the murderer. M murderer? Yep, that's what it says, but the rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Uh, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. Before the murder? Yeah, the ringmaster was killed the night after the paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? This is definitely important. Nick, I think this is a very important clue. And oh, this is such an important clue. Okay, what do we have now? We have... We have a picture of Max's bronze bust. And we have... A note saying to the murderer. Alright. Max's bust is missing, so... Alright, thanks, Mo. Okay. Let's see... Go back here. I guess there's nothing here. Oh, wait. A scrap of paper was in his pocket, right? Yeah, I know it's a tailcoat, Maya. Scrap of paper. Huh? Where? Where? Calm down, Maya. Oh, come on. Huh. I know there's a white piece of paper there, but I guess it isn't relevant. Alright, let's try... Circus entrance. So hey, uh, Ben, you seen this one? Okay, I guess not. Well then, let's keep going. Um, detention center. Hey, Max. Tell us more about. Tell me most more about your bust. Fabulous. Do you like me to sign? No, I. If I had it, and this. Do you know anything about this note? The morning of the murder, it was posted on the wall of the cafeteria. I do know all about that note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. 
your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered my entered the room. And company? <laughs> I guess it wasn't really a company, it was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tailcoat. Really? Out of curiosity, when the world was written on that thing? Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go and find it on your own. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. <laughs> you might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. Uh, fine. Alright, then let's go. Let's go find him. Okay, I know it's definitely the thing in his pocket. I was definitely right about that. It has to be a thing, because he took it and put it in his tailcoat pocket. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the pocket of a tailcoat. You know, I got a feeling I know what that is. I bet it's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Then let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. I knew it! It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at, meet at 10 p.m. tonight at the lodging house plaza. Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. Ah, this is definitely conclusive evidence here. And this cliffhanger, I'm gonna have to rest the case for a bit. I'm Luigi Van 64D. This is Let's Play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. See you next time.